Hello and welcome. We're here at Algorithm World 2022. I'm Jason Elliott. The theme for this year's event is Responsible AI for a Sustainable World. Over the next two days, we have an incredible lineup with speakers from communication service providers, enterprises, and policymakers. We've also got a fantastic lineup of different demonstrations, so let's go and take a look at those right now. So here at Algorithm World 2022, we have many different types of demonstrations. I'm joined by my colleague Ashish Diama from North America Field Marketing. Ashish, good morning and welcome to you. Just how many demonstrations do we have at this year's event? Jason, we have more than 35 demonstrations here and uh, I think you want to see three or four demonstrations Yeah, that would be great, fantastic. So this first one here, Network as Code, just tell us a little bit about Network as Code, what that means. So Network as a Code is basically enabling new services and applications and value creation really quickly using 5G capabilities, which would take months before is now possible really quickly using APIs and other mechanisms. Excellent, that's really good. And we got some amazing examples here. So you have uh, AI drone surveillance system here as well, and then also uh, virtual reality experiences as well for immersive events in stadiums and venues and concerts. So incredible experiences that you can really create to show the true value of 5G with network as code. So let's walk over here a little bit more to talk about a couple of the other demonstrations that we have there this year's event. So the next focus is gonna be a lot more on private networks is right. Just tell me a little bit about what a private network actually is. Private network is basically a network that uh, various enterprises and verticals can own. They can have their own so that they have all the capabilities there. It is secure, it is safe, it runs fast. And that's what the private network is. Fantastic. And this demonstration here, as I understand it, we have different types of devices and we're taking the analytics from those devices. And what do we do with the analytics from those devices? With the analytics, you can remove interferences, you can figure out what are the problems going to happen before they happen and all kinds of analytics you can do. So you are capable of, this is basically like a digital twin. Wow. Of, yeah, exactly. Excellent, so you create a digital twin using the algorithms, you can then detect problems as well. And just further on down here as well, I understand we've got a, a very special system here using CBRS, correct? And then we're using a video surveillance system based off of that CBRS device? That's a very good point you made, uh, Jason, here. So private wireless network can be using CBRS here in the North America, or it can be using Multifire in the North America. So we are showing various capabilities here, and Nokia is the only one who has end-to-end -end solution for, for the Multifire, and what we are showing you is the video that we're shooting in the hallway there. Wow, yeah. I can see, we can see our own video like promoting it up here and then looking, looking at the people on the camera. Ashish, thank you very much. That's all the time we have to just see a couple of demonstrations today. We'll see you very shortly later in the day. Thank you. Thank you.